Hey growers, Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot here. What are the best LED grow lights in 2018? Well, that depends on how you define best. There are hundreds of LED grow lights to choose from with more coming out each year. So what makes one better than the other? Best is a subjective word, so we had to use specific criteria to create this list. One, fixture quality. The LED grow lights must be constructed with quality parts, such as high-performing diodes, efficient drivers, etc. Have a good warranty, so three to five years typically, and be reliable, so low warranty claims. Two, performance. The fixtures must meet the points below. If the manufacturer did not provide data on some of these points, we did our best to estimate these based off of other performance specifications. Good spectrum. Is the spectrum ideal for veg, bloom, and or both? Sufficient light output to cover a 4x4 area. This is measured in PPF, which is the amount of light exuded in micromoles per second, and or favorable PAR map readings are provided. And high efficiency. The amount of light the fixture exudes compared to the wattage drawn at the wall. 3. Coverage area. All of these lights will cover around a 4x4 area for flower. Now this is a common flowering footprint and many lights are designed to cover this area. Therefore, we wanted to select fixtures that cover a 4x4 space or can be used in 4x4 sections such as 4x8, 8x8, 8x12, etc. There are other lights on the market that are very competitive with these lights on the list. So while we don't mean to not include any of these top lights, it's difficult to narrow down the wide array of lights on the market to only 12 options. So if there's any other lights you can think of that should be on this list, let us know in the comments below. California Lightworks Solar System 1100 UVB. At the start of 2018, California Lightworks increased the solar system series efficiency by 25% from 1.55 micromoles per joule to 2.2 micromoles per joule. In addition, they released an upgraded version of the Solar System 1100, featuring UVB light bars on each side of the grow light. This is a perfect setup for fans of the discontinued Solar Storm 880. The Solar System 1100 features a fully customizable spectrum, timing, dimming, and scheduling control with the optional controller. The SS1100 will replace a 1000 watt HPS while only drawing 800 watts at the wall and about 50 more watts with the UVB lights on. Top bin, high output Osram LEDs are enclosed behind plexiglass and emit a whopping PPF of 1730 micromoles per second, which is up from 1284 micromoles per second. The Solar System 1100 will veg up to an 8x8 area or flower a 4x4 area with high intensity or a 5x5 area with less intensity. The UVB lights can be used in the last few weeks of flower to help increase resin production. The SS1100 grow light measures 18 inches by 18 inches and weighs 26 pounds. It's a little larger and only slightly heavier with the UVB bars attached. The heat sink makes up most of the fixture's weight. Accessible cooling fans top off the fixture and draw air over the large aluminum heat sink block, creating an excellent heat dissipation system. A separate controller is needed to dim the unit, customize the spectrum, and program the grow schedules. The red and deep red, white, and blue and deep blue channels can be controlled separately. One controller can be used to control up to 1,000 units in series. Horticultural Lighting Group HLG 550 the HLG 550, released mid-2017, replaces a 1000 watt HPS and only draws 515 watts at the wall. The fixture utilizes 1152 top bin Samsung LM561C S6 LEDs and emits a PPF of 1159 micromoles per second across four custom designed QB288 quantum boards. Whew, that was a mouthful. The power efficiency of the entire unit is a staggering 2.28 micromoles per joule, making this one of the most efficient LED grow lights on the market as of February 2018. The HLG 550 is designed to flower up to a 4.5 by 4.5 foot area or veg up to a 6 by 6 foot area. The 3000 Kelvin spectrum is ideal for full cycle growth from veg to harvest for larger yields. It is also available in 4000 Kelvin, which is best for keeping plants stout during veg and increasing quality during flower. The unit is passively cooled and does not contain any cooling fans. The quantum boards sit on an aluminum heatsink panel. 
The back of the panel contains a Meanwell HLG driver, dimmable down to 250 watts, so about 50% intensity. The unit measures 26 inches by 20 inches and weighs only 18 pounds. Black Dog LED Phytomax 2 800. Black Dog LED released the Phytomax 2 series in early 2017. The Phytomax 2 series includes the following upgrades from the original Phytomax series. Higher quality, more efficient diodes, more light at the same wattage, glass plate was removed to assist in 8% more light transmission, and quieter cooling fans. The Phytomax 2 800 will replace more than a 1000 watt HPS with higher yields and better quality results while using less electricity. The Phytomax 2 800 utilizes 420 top bin 5 watt LEDs from industry leaders such as Cree and Osram, so they're rated at about 50,000 hours. The unit is advertised to cover up to a 6 by 6 foot area for flower and veg a 7.5 by 7.5 foot area. However, for best results, it is recommended to be used in about a 4x4 foot area or 5x5 foot area. Black Dog LED's phytogenesis spectrum can be used for both veg and flower, which helps reduce stalling associated with spectrum changes. The spectrum ranges from UVA to near IR and includes a healthy amount of green to naturalize the light for easy viewing and to help increase photosynthesis under the canopy. The unit weighs 50 pounds and measures 21 inches by 21 inches. All Phytomax 2 grow lights come with metal gear ratchet hangers. Optic LED Optic 8 Plus. The Optic 8 Plus was released late 2017. This powerful LED grow light will cover a 4x4 area or up to a 5x5 area while only drawing 500 watts. It features 8 Cree CXB3590 cobs covered by 90 degree or 120 degree lenses and 32 3 watt diodes as a separate bloom enhancer channel. The bloom channel features additional UVA diodes, full spectrum white, 660 nanometer, and 730 nanometer diodes. There are three separate channels on the Optic 8 Plus veg, bloom, and bloom enhancer, all of which can be switched on and off and dimmed up and down independently. While we don't have efficiency data for this fixture, we really like it because of the name brand diodes, mean well drivers, and controllability of the fixture. Add these features to the great par readings in a 4x4 area and you have a solid, affordable fixture that will grow and flower with great results. The fixture's dimensions are 26 inches by 26 inches and it weighs 34 pounds. Amare Solar Eclipse SE500 The Amare Solar Eclipse SE500 was upgraded from the Solar Eclipse SE450 in late 2017 and is now more powerful and efficient. The fixture features white light technology via six powerful high intensity cob emitters. The Cree CXB3070 cob LEDs are housed in a patented reflector array and come with removable secondary optics. 60 supplemental 5 watt Cree diodes surround each cob. In the middle of the panel sits a fluorescent UVB bulb for the added boost to increase resin production. The cobs, 5 watt emitters, and the UVB bulb can all be switched on and off independently. The SE500 covers up to a 4x4 area for flower or 4.5x4.5 area for veg. Amari states that this light is about equivalent to a 800 watt HID. The cobs and supplemental diodes create the perfect spectrum. A large amount of green light in the spectrum helps to drive photosynthesis more efficiently than red and blue light and to better penetrate the canopy. It also allows you to view your plants in natural white light. The quality of the LED grow light does not stop at the surface. The heat management system contains four premium high CFM ball bearing fans and proprietary copper core heat sinks. The unit measures 21.6 by 21.6 inches and it weighs 33 pounds. Nextlight Mega. The Nextlight Mega, released May 2016, replaces a 1000 watt double ended HPS while only drawing 650 watts. LED lifetime is rated at 100,000 hours, which is 20 years on a 12-12 cycle. The full spectrum white Samsung diodes are heavy in blue and green while providing sufficient red for flowering. The Mega measures 37 inches by 37 inches and is passively cooled, so there's no cooling fans on the entire unit. The wide form factor and thin profile allow the heat to dissipate without additional heat sinks or fans. It also helps create a more even footprint without any hot spots or low par readings. The Nextlight Mega is daisy chainable to an additional fixture which allows you to cut down the number of cords you need to run the power supply. The Mega is designed and manufactured in the USA. 
The Nextlight Mega is a perfect fixture for tents, grow rooms, or commercial grows. The fixture is UL and DLC premium listed. This is our top choice for commercial grows. The Green Sunshine Company Electric Sky ES300 2-Pack. The Electric Sky 300, released mid-2017, contains a unique full spectrum that is heavy in wideband red, so red to far red, that aids rapid growth and grows large flowers. The dual-way linear lens, 60 degree by 120 degree, directs the light downward toward your plants. The lenses are removable, so if the Green Sunshine Company comes out with new lenses in the future, they can be easily replaced. The modularity of the electric sky system allows you to spread the light over a larger area for even coverage. Place the two units closer together or further apart depending on the light intensity and coverage area that you'd like to achieve. The unit is passively cooled and the driver is contained within the center of the grow light making this one slick looking LED grow light. The ES300 is 36 inches by 12 inches and it weighs 22 pounds. Spectrum King SK602 the SK602 is a redesigned, more efficient version of the best-selling SK600. It was released late 2017 along with its smaller brother, the SK402. The SK602 is also available in a greenhouse version, the only difference is a white housing. The SK602 will replace a 1000 watt double-ended HPS while using 40% less power. The approximately 4,000 Kelvin full-spectrum diodes help alleviate stretching and increase flower quality. Yet, this light is not for everyone looking for high-quality flower and large yields. Growers should be aware that this fixture exudes a lot of light from a small area, so Spectrum King recommends at least 4 feet between the top of the plants and the bottom of the fixture to ensure that you don't have too much light hitting the center of the growth footprint. If your grow space has limited height, then you might consider the SK402 or another brand. The SK602 and SK602GH, which is a greenhouse fixture, can be fitted with a dimmer for an additional $49. The SK602 is 21 inches by 10 inches and it weighs 20 pounds. Ursa Optilux 16. The Ursa Optilux 16 will replace a 1000 watt double-ended HID while only drawing 640 watts. The unit contains 16 200 watt proprietary cob arrays driven at 40 watts each and rated at 50,000 hours. The Optilux 16 is available in full spectrum white for high intensity veg to flower growth and contains some UVA and IR while being heavy in blue, green, and red. A red blue version is also available. Ursa LED designs and manufactures their own LED chips, making this a high quality fixture. The Ursa Optilux 16 produces an astounding PPFD of 1,500 micromoles per meter squared per second at the center of its 4x4 footprint and 400 micromoles per meter squared per second at the ends of its footprint. We measured the par of the Optilux 16 at 36 inches in a 4x4 grow tent and we were extremely impressed with the PPFD readings at this distance and footprint. This is one of the reasons why we added this light to this year's best LED grow light list. You can view the video at the link below. This unit is passively cooled via patented heat sinks which only admit 1400 BTUs of heat. The unit is passively cooled via patented heat sinks, and this unit only admits 1,400 BTUs of heat. The Optilux 16 measures 23.6 by 23.6 inches. Timber Grow Lights Redwood VS Timber Grow Lights started as a lighting company supplying DIY parts for growers to build their own LED grow lights. They now offer complete ready-to-hang fixtures. The Redwood VS is their second largest LED grow light. The fixtures Bridgelux Vero 29 V7 cobs are mounted with reflectors to concentrate the light. The cobs sit on pinned heat sinks and are powered with Meanwell drivers. The Redwood VS is passively cooled and dimmable down to 10% light intensity. Growers can choose from four white light spectrums depending on their setup. The price of the Redwood VS is excellent considering its high quality build and light output. This series has one of the lowest cost per watt and cost per photon compared to other LED grow lights on the market. The Redwood VS is 42 inches by 24 inches and it weighs 31 pounds. Fluence Bioengineering Spider X Plus. The Spider X Plus, released May 2016 and updated since then, has caught the attention of growers since their humble beginning as the brand BML, Build My LED. 
The Spider X Plus is Fluence's most powerful light to cover a 4x4 space for full cycle growing. It is dimmable and has a tuned full spectrum, peaking at 660 nanometers. The price point is really good considering the high light output, efficiency, and quality Samsung diodes. The cost per photon, or micromoles per second, is below $1. Eight bars extend across the center substrate. This design eliminates hot spots and spreads the light out, allowing for even coverage across your plant's canopy. This design allows you to place the fixture as close as six inches from the canopy. The fixture has a thin 4.6 inch tall profile and it measures 42 inches by 44 inches. Pacific Light Concepts PLC 6.2 the PLC 6.2, released June 2017, is a passively cooled, full-spectrum, white light fixture featuring a Meanwell HLG driver and splayed heat sinks. It is dimmable from 100% to off. Built-in aluminum high-efficiency white reflectors surround each Bridgelux Vero 29C chip. This fixture stands out because it uses high-quality components, has a good efficiency, above 2.0 micromoles per joule, has competitive light output, and has an excellent price point compared to many other LED grow lights on the market. The PLC 6.2 is 25 inches by 24 inches. So what do you think about this list? Which lights would you include, and which lights would you leave out of here, if any? Leave your comments below. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe here. Check out our videos on YouTube for individual LED grow light reviews where we go more in depth on some of the most popular lights on the market. And if you need assistance choosing an LED grow light, feel free to email us at info at LED Till next time, guys.